Hello, this is Kalo Chan Place, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2. In the last episode, guys, we went through tu the tutorial, saw a little bit of the intro of the story mode, and managed to play through the first level of World 1. So, in today's episode, guys, I think what we're going to be aiming to do is taking on the second and third level, and then possibly, if we have time, seeing if we can make it all the way to the boss level. So, if you do like the sound of that, then please make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you really enjoy, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, before we begin, I just thought we'd do a little bit of exploring around this hub world and manage to find that nice collectible up there. So, I guess what we should do now is try and find the second or third level. So, all we need to do is make our way through here. And I think this looks like another spot for, yeah, another invisible cattle. So this is how we make our way into the level. So, there we go. Oh, we're doing them out of order. This is Sunset Octocopter Dash and Jump. Huh. Sounds pretty interesting. So, let's see how this thing actually goes. You know, it's, it's a one... Splatoon 2, it's just a nice game to play because of how fluid you move. And let's see. Do we get a new weapon? No. We are going into this level with the hero shot. And... I think the gimmick with this level is these dash tracks, so we can step onto them or go into them in our squid form and then we can um, use them to boost all over the place. And then we also have these, um, these new flying enemies we have to take care of, so I guess they're going to be the main enemy or something in this level. So it doesn't seem like they're too hard to take out, so we can just jet on through here, fly through these massive calamari rings and make our way through the level, flying through the hoops as we go. I must say, it is a pretty fun concept, just flying through the level. So, let's try to get hit, and wow, we got really damaged there. That should not have happened from such a small enemy, but I guess it did. Oh well. But anyway, I think we're kind of healed up now. We can go and get whatever's in this box. Some nice salmon eggs, and then we can swim over here and carry on with the level. Nothing too hard so far, it's just a pretty straightforward level and I guess the only real challenge will come in trying to get stuff like um, whatever's up here, so let's see, can we actually hit that? Yep, yeah, it's just some, just some nice salmon eggs, some nice salmon eggs and I think we have to just avoid these, um, avoid these targets basically. Just because avoid these big rollers because I think they're probably instant death. Seeing how much ink they will cover us in and how much we actually need to take it out, it's probably not far off. So let's go here, get this secret collectible if we can. Yeah, come on, we can make it. That is so annoying that it's just beyond our reach. I guess we'll have to get it from that platform over there. So let's. Let's just wait for this roller to get back. There we go. We can make our way across. Hit up this checkpoint. And slide our way to the Sardinium. I think is what it's called. Oh my word. That is embarrassing. But yeah, we can just jump our way over to the Sardinium like this. There we go. And now we have one out of two collectibles. So now we can just hop back here. Try to take out these flying dudes. Come on, get a bit closer. Get a bit closer. Just a bit. Adjust my aim. Come on. Shouldn't be too hard to slide, guys. There we go. One more to go. Come on. I want to low on ink. Let's refuel a bit. Recharge. Nice. And super attack from the bullet from the bottom. That was a nice one. Nice undershot there. And now we can just make our way past this other roller which we're going to need to time as well. And then we can move on to what seems like a timing based thing with some more rollers. So before we do that, it looks like there are some boxes down here. Uh, I don't want to miss out on any secrets. So let's take this out. Yeah, it was just some nice armor. And now we have full on like SWAT gear to protect us with the, all the ink. So now we can just time this well. And there we go. Next checkpoint, and we can move on with our lives with the stage. So, now we got here. 
Let's see if we can take this out with one in thumb. Should that, that should. Yeah, that should do it. Nice one. And now let's see. That that didn't exactly do the do the trick. Come on, let's just climb faster, climb faster, climb faster. No, no, no. Armor, armor has taken damage. Armor has taken damage. Ooh. Okay. Let's just spam the wall with ink. Nice. Let's climb up fast. There we go. Everything has been got. And ooh. Looks like there's another platform down here. And yes. We're getting more secrets, including this random scroll up here. I guess that may be I don't know. I think in the last episode we got one of the pages and it unlocked like a page in a book. So maybe this is another one of those. But we get yet another checkpoint. And I'm really hoping at the end of the level we'll be coming soon because then we can move on to another one and we can get this all done a lot faster. But it seems to have a special now. I don't really think we need to use it though. I think if we're careful about this, we can just go in and drive block. We can just hit them from below. Like that, see? Nothing too difficult with these little pesky enemies. We can literally just fly over them all, or fly under them rather. But, ah, seems this might be the place to have a go with our special. Or not, these enemies are actually, they, they look or, tr or try to look a bit threatening, but they're really not. So, I guess all we need to do is, um, now to progress is we can go over here, we have some nice platforms for us to boost on up. So, let's just go like this, into, that was a nice swift transition. Then we can fly through the rings, break the boxes, fly through some more rings, and make our way on to the final checkpoint. There we go. So we're now almost done. I think we just have this one. Final onslaught. So let's just go ahead, boost our way through all of this, and land with style. There we go. The Zapfish has been saved. Cool. And now we can move on to the third level in the hub. We, I think we did move, did that one a lot quicker than we did the first actual level. So I'm pretty proud of ourselves. We got all collectibles, a new page in the book. We're moving. Ammo Knights will be moving to a new location soon. Many thanks to our loyal customers for your support. Uh, that is, that's a cool play on words, Ammo Knights, because it's like, I think it's some type of sea animal, so it really fits in with both the gunning and the squid so anyway I think we've done that level now time to move on to the second level in the set or the second level for today the second out of three worlds which is welcome to Octopia the summer wind rises oh sorry excuse me guys ah there we go yeah don't know what this one could be about but after we've done this we can head on to the boss and that'll be this world fully completed Unless we have some more secrets to unlock in the hub world. Like in this kind of hub area. And oh, this one looks fun. Just the kind of sea environment. It looks fun already. So, yeah. Let's head into this. We have some heat seeking little ink bombs. And we also have these puffer fish, which we can blow up to release tons of our own ink. And then we also have these sponges. Like, we've just been introduced to at least three new mechanics slash enemies so let's try and see how we can make use of them in this level get this box get all the boxes nice nice and lovely let's see if we can just we can duck from this guy to recharge our ink then quickly sneak attack while he is to turn around and carry on with our lives there we go collect all the lovely slammer eggs and watch out for these bomb guys once Hit there, nicely done. Taking them all out with one cell blowing a fish soup. I like to call them, I want to call them puffer fish, but I'm not really sure if, that, if that's the way to describe them. Just kind of ink fish, ink balloon fish. There has to be some kind of term for them, but I don't know it yet. And there are octo troopers. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's what they're called. These Octo Troopers are up on the grate here, and we can just go round and we can actually get them from below actually. So let's just 
go like this. Hello, hello friends. Goodbye. Let's shoot you into next week. There we go. And is there any way up on this thing? No, it doesn't seem like it. Because it does seem like the perfect place to hide some sort of, um, I don't know, secret area, some treasure. There is a box down here though. And oh, that was actually a really uh, kind of obvious um, place for a secret there. So we found that one pretty easily. And I think all we have left to do for um, collectibles in this level is get the um, sardinium, that kind of sardine fish looking thing that helps us to upgrade our items and yeah here we go now huh, you some kind of completionist or something indeed i am indeed i am marie or yep indeed i am marie i do like completing games a lot like i find that it's really satisfying to just have a game complete i i don't know why it's just it brings me satisfaction so i just like to go through Try and collect everything I can, and you know, not leave a stone unturned. So, because just having I don't know a hundred percent completion, I know even just on a file, it just seems really nice. And that's a squeegee. They suck up ink, but they're pretty harmless. Oh, okay, they look pretty harmless as well. It's just they're taking up the ink we need to swim with. So that could be the only downside here. And oh, what's this? Is it? Huh, I didn't even, just decided to look down for a second and there we go, we got some secret, some secret extra armor. That was a, that's a nice bonus, I guess. So, we can just claim that, head into here, refuel our ink a little, and sneak attack, there we go. Didn't even see us coming. You can also pop his balloon, and pop this massive fish balloon, and I think now we are almost done. But what I want to do is I want to avoid this I want to avoid this kind of wormhole looking thing This portal looking thing Because yeah there's some boxes up on top here And there we go This is the Sardinium which we can use to upgrade our items And then if I drop down like this I can also collect some lovely lovely slammer eggs Which we can use in the future for some For some sort of thing I have no idea But anyway here we go, we got some more armor, and we have a special ready, that is the Splashdown, which we can use to take out multiple enemies at a time, so let's see if this works. Let's just go into the center of the wall, and Splashdown! That worked wonders. And now, from that one, we've unlocked another one, which we can use to take out this next wave, come on, get onto the center, Splashdown! And just that one, there's only one survivor, but now, that was actually pretty satisfying just to have the splashdown take out all of them at once. Pretty fun, to be honest. But anyway, let's soak up these sponges with our ink and make our way to the next section. Come on, take out this dude with his balloon. No! Ah, he let his balloon just go to waste. Oh well, we're at the final checkpoint now, and all we need to do is hit these lovely puffer fish eggs the puffer fish dude to blow up all of the stages and oh this is an interesting dude now let's see if we can just explode him yep one these puffer fish dudes they make it super easy just to do all of this in one go so now we can swim up to the end and claim our zapfish reward two levels down one boss fight remaining this has actually been, we've been really successful today, guys. Two levels down, I, we hard, we've hardly taken the time it took us to complete, you know, just the one level before, so I think now the boss kettle has been unlocked, but before we do that, I know there is a challenge. Ah, music heads are still buzzing over that legendary underground show two years ago. Anyone lucky enough to catch... DJ Octavio's opening set and the Squid Sisters headlining had their minds blown and their lives changed that night. Cool. But yeah, I know there's definitely some kind of secret in the um, in this hub world because if we go into menu and sector one, now where is it? Records. Yeah, you can see the main hub world of sector one. There is 
that it looks like there's going to be another scroll as well as the sardinium. So, I think I know how to get that. But what it involves is some um, planning beforehand. So, let's just splat up this wall here. That should be good. And now we can just, just go start popping a balloon somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think it's this golden balloon right here. So, if we start popping these ones, then eventually we're going to get some sort of scroll. So, we can go ahead and pop in all these in a lovely order, like this. And now it's over here. So, let's just climb the wall here. Come on. Take out this one. And the final one is right here on this platform. So, now we have our final scroll from this section. Welcome to Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. Collect all of the commemorative souvenir stickers. Ah, so I guess in the levels, it's like um, story snippets or stuff, or just general lore of the world. And in the hub areas like this, the sectors, it's stickers. So that's cool to know. And now we can head into our first boss level, Industrial Toast, into the Octo Oven. So let, let's see how this goes. Um. So in we go. Ooh, I wonder, so it said Octo, sorry, Into the Something, Toaster, no. Industrial Toast, Into the Octo Oven. Let's see what this mad game has in store for us for our first boss fight. Ooh, got some nasty tentacle going for that, is that this? What is it? I want to see, I want to see. My word. Octo oven. It's a big, it's a giant, it's a it's a hybrid between octopus and, um, octopus and oven and toast. That is, why? Why does this thing exist? Oh, okay. But I think now it, it's giving us the opportunity. We can go hit its weak point on the top. So let's just go up here. Let's mash it with loads of ink, just like that, and there we go. Donut stop. You need to keep going. I get it. Some more, cl some cleverly based oven puns, oven cooking puns. What the heck is it doing now? It's just a, kind of evolved into its second state, where it now has exhaust fumes and massive ink rollers of death. Ah, uh, there are fewer walls to climb on now, so by doing that, it's made some of its walls invincible, so we can't actually climb up them. And, okay, here we go. It's, it's done a little bit of toasting itself now, but fortunately, this is no trouble for us. We can head right back onto the roof without much trouble at all. Good, but don't start loafing around or things might go awry. Come on, Marie, you're killing us here. Three. Three puns in one. And ow. Oh, now it has increased climb. It's increased its um, climblessness. So no, we can now climb on less of it. But it also has a massive sweeping income which we have to run away from. This is just horrible. Come on. Let's get out of its way. Wait for his coaxiness to be unleashed. Come on. Come on, ping already, get toaster eyes. Toaster eyes, my toast the oven. Do your duty, let me explore with you. I'm glad to say the only area that hasn't really been, okay, watch out. He's been toasted, he is toast now. Okay, let's get up on the other arm, quickly head our way up to the top, and splatter his tentacle into next week. So, explosion. This guy is toast. There are now. We get to see him burning all of his loaves. And... Q explosion. <laughs> Nicely done. Now we can claim our... Sardinium reward. 
and gazed upon the massive lizard fish. Ah, so peaceful up there. And I've been splattering and collecting it for our own purposes. There we go. The industrial octo oven into the o the industrial toast into the octo oven. So there we go, guys. First boss taken down. Good work, Agent Four. I sure know how to pick them. This is some kind of weird transmission, is it? Gotta hand it to the Octarians, though. I didn't expect them to have fully operational octo bosses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. I hear you loud and clear, Marie. Over. Oh man, this is so cool. Ahem. Agent 4, I'm Sheldon from Ammonites. The only weapon shop in Inkopolis with over fi fi 542 million years of trusted service. What the? D don't even ask. That's right. Stop by Ammonites in Inkopolis Square for all your weapon needs. Tell me Sheldon sent you. So we're telling him himself sent us. Marie told me everything. To think that my signature weapons can be of help to the new Squid Bleak's platoon? I'm honored. But I'm afraid I can't just let you treat my best arsenal like an all you can ink buffet. I do have a business to run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test some new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in real world conditions. If you do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. That data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in turf war battles. It's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh yeah, and... Okay, damn boy, I think Agent 4 gets the point. Let's get back to work, Agent 4. Stay fresh. Also oh, cool. So I guess, in the next area, or from now on, in this story mode, the more we do, like the more levels we do, Sheldon will give us new weapons to try out, and once we've used them in here, we can actually use them in turf war later on. That's cool. Good, good news. You can now use my ammonite enhancer fire to ne next to cuttlefish cabin. It's a top of the line vending machine that can enhance your weapons and add bombs to your arsenal. The enhancer fire doesn't take cash; it takes power eggs and sardinium instead. Ah, oh, cool. So that means in the next episode. We'll be able to start upgrading our weapons and adding bombs to our disposal and generally be better equipped to fight this Octarian Scourge. But anyway, yeah, here we go. We've landed in Suction Cup Lookout, the next hub area where we will be able to take out a ton more levels. But until next episode, guys, I think we're going to call it here for today. If you didn't enjoy watching me take out levels 2, 3 and the boss fight all in quite a fun way then please make sure to drop a like on the video and if you are at all new around here and you want to then please make sure to subscribe share this video with your friends and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video of mine comes out but guys thanks for watching this has been Kellotron Plays and I'll see you all in the next video goodbye